Hey guys, this is Henry from Albedia again. Today we're going to be working on the last three tabs from the Preferences window in Pro Tools. These tabs are MIDI, Collaboration, and Synchronization. So let's start with the MIDI. There are four areas here. Basics, Note Display, Delay Compensation for External Devices, and MIDI Score Editor Display. So basically, um, the MIDI tab it basically shows you all these options of how to look at MIDI and how MIDI acts like when, when you're working with it. Okay, this has nothing to do with actual MIDI procedures. Okay, there's no things like quantization, things like that here. It's more like how MIDI uh, displays and how, it's, how it works within Pro Tools. So, um, I personally, most of these options I try to leave default so that I don't have any surprises when working with MIDI. But here's things like, for example, here in the basics, um, let's say remove range selection after opening the MIDI score editor. This is one of those things that if it's on, then this is gonna happen automatically. So you open the MIDI score um, editor and then the range selection is gonna be removed. So I don't want that. So basically I don't want things to happen automatically if I don't ask for it. So that's off. Uh, use MIDI to tap tempo. I have that off because I don't really tap the tempo with MIDI. I just tap it with the tap function or I just type in the tempo that I want. Then you got display events as modified by real-time properties. That's off. Use F11 key for wait for note. I don't use the wait for note, so that's off. And then here's one. Automatically create click track in new sessions. I do want that to be on. Why? 99.99% .99 of the sessions that I work do have some kind of metronome or click. And I record things trying to follow a click. So why not creating a click track automatically? Now you're gonna be in situations in which let's say you're recording something live, like a live recording, a live show, or maybe rehearsal. Yeah, you, you might not care, you might not want to have a metronome, but I mean, if you, this is on and the, you created the session, the metronome pops, you can just delete it. Then you got things as, for example, pencil tool resolution when drawing controller data. So if you're drawing any kind of controller data, uh, the, resolution, the resolution is going to be 30 milliseconds. That's default. And then the global MIDI playback offset set to zero sample, so basically no offset. It's also set to zero. Now, this is really important. Note this play. So the standard pitch, where is it going to be? Is it going to be the middle C as C3? Or is it going to be an alternate pitch, like, for example, MIDI C as C4? I personally leave it the way, you know, 99.9% .9 of DOS R, which is middle C, C3. So that's my reference. You also got some delay compensation for external devices, such as MIDI timecode, MIDI notes and controllers, or MIDI beat clock. I just leave the last two on. And then you got the additional additional empty bars in the score editor. That's set to eight, so the score editor will leave eight more bars after you finish performing, just uh, as, I guess you could say, as a security measure, so your performance will never get chopped. There's always gonna be uh, some more empty bars after that, in case you wanna add more, maybe. So that's basically the MIDI tab. Then you got the collaboration tab. And now the collaboration tab is related to the collaboration features um, in Pro Tools, which are pretty much cloud-based, in which you can collaborate with other people, other uh, producers, engineers, and you can both work on the same session. So for example, um, and it's basically all miscellaneous, like new tracks are shared. So if you create a new track or the other person creates a new, a new track, they're automatically shared between uh, collaborators. Uh, then, for, for example, first invite shares all tracks, so the first person that invites is going to share all the tracks. Uh, joining project downloads all the shared tracks. So basically, if someone invites you and you join into a project that is being collaborated by several people, then as soon as you join, all the shared tracks you're going to download. That way you make sure that you have everything you need to play back. Uh, enable track notes dialog. I think this is really important when you're collaborating because the track notes lets you basically type a note on track. So if there's something that you want to say, you might want to type it there so the other person can read it and apply whatever correction uh, you, you're mentioning. 
and then automatically download new share tracks. So if someone adds something new to the share tracks, it automatically gets downloaded. It makes sense. So you always have the latest version of the collaborative project, if you want to call it that way. So everyone has the latest uh, version. And then you get the synchronization tab. And this has to do with syncing um, Pro Tools to a machine. Let's say you're syncing uh, to a tape machine uh, and you're using things like MIDI timecode and things like that. You could do, for example, machine chases memory location. If that's on and you're syncing to some kind of machine like a tape machine, then the memory locations in Pro Tools, when you advance to another memory location, the playback changes then if you are synced to tape machine, then tape machine is always also going to change. Um, I've been in sessions before in which I'm recording to Pro Tools and to tape at the same time, just as an experiment. So, you know, if you if you're, you have a memory location, let's say like this one that says start, and I want to go back to start, then when I go to that memory location, I want to make sure that the tape machine also goes to the start. So, you know, it's just to have them synchronized. Now, this is something that you're, you're not going to use a lot, um, but it's worth you know knowing. So that that was the preferences uh, window uh, in, in 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 Pro Tools. So um, at this point, we've pretty much uh, dealt with every single tab of the preferences window. Okay, so you should be pretty good in that aspect there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, the tutorials, and if you have any other questions, please call us at Obedia. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.